Yeah, today we said uh, let's come together and highlight the challenges faced by this municipality. The municipality is at a stage where it can collapse at any stage. It's our view uh, as a DA that we need to come out and inform the public. We are elected as public representative by the communities and we must come out and tell them that the municipality is in, is in crisis. We've seen exodus, leaving municipalities. We see about 12 senior officials resigning, suspended, um, some displaced. So we are saying it can't be normal. We can't allow also a situation where officials are being purged just because of their political decisions. And the internal faction of the ANC can't be allowed to affect the entire municipality. It's the reason why we are saying we have to highlight these issues. It can't be right that the mayor can tell the public that she doesn't know who took a decision to, to buy armed vehicles, because she doesn't know who took a decision to buy dogs for Metropolis. We are saying, how can the mayor say she doesn't know where the municipality seem to gearing to be at war with the residents? Because the protests that we see on a daily basis are as a result of frustration because this council and councillors and politicians, all of us, we made commitment, we made promises to the residents of Eteguini. And if we don't fulfill those promises, they have a right to come out and protest. It's then for that reason that says it can't be right, the mayor can say she doesn't know who took a decision. And the manager says she doesn't know who took a decision. And it goes also to the head of the department of Metropolis saying he doesn't know who took a decision. A deputy head is on record in his paper saying she doesn't know, he doesn't know who took a decision. Who took a decision then? Who is running this council? So we are saying it can't be right. It's this municipality also where the AG have highlighted that 377 companies were awarded 